And Basco now shoots it deep into Lloyd Minster territory. Bobcats last night had trouble getting set up against this Kodiak penalty kill. And same thing tonight. Zablocki steals it. Johnson walks in. Shoots. Score! <laughs> Short-handed goal for Cooper Johnson. Number 12 on the season, an even dozen for the Kodiaks in terms of shorthanded goals. As Johnson and Zablocki do some good work inside the Bobcat zone and steal the puck, and Johnson beats McGrath. And it's a 1 0 hockey game. So, Trapto now. Back to Coriali. Coriali walks in. Now to Trapto in the corner. Trapto now. Back to Coriali. Coriali back to Trapto. To Coriali. Oh, to Dujervain. He scores! A pretty tic tac toe. You could see that play developing. And uh, Gervais eventually gets the goal in the power play, but Coriali and Trapto did the work. And Coriali found Gervais wide open at the side of the net. He scores his uh, third goal of the season, second as a Kodiak. And it's 2-0. Uh, that comes very late in this first period. He'll get it to Vanell. Shot. Score! It's another power play goal for the Kodiaks. Zach Vanell, I think, will get credit for it. Colin Schmidt did some great work in front, and he might have even got a stick on it. We'll see. If he didn't get the goal, Schmidt, he definitely had a big part in it because he provided the screen on Austin McGrath. And shot scores. So the five on three power play goal for the Bobcats to make it three uh, one. As yeah, Zach Kaiser will get it, came out from the corner and was able to slide a backhander by Patrick Gora. And they score again. So, wow, this is eerily similar to last night. Two quick goals in the third period. 29 seconds apart. Last night it was 16 seconds apart for the Kodiaks to make it 3-1. This now makes it 3-2 with two power play goals. Ivy at center, tripped up. That comes to Zablocki. McCool now with it. Jack McCool. McCool splitting the defense in front. Uh, back and they score! <laughs> Colin Schmidt will get the goal. Jack McCool did the work. McCool picked his way through the defense. The puck went off his stick right to Colin Schmidt, who's got his sixth goal of the season. And the Kodiaks have a two-goal lead back. It's 4-2.